do is share our story with everybody. You don't need to make it any more complicated than it actually is. Just share the story about chiropractic, and your office will grow tremendously. What we're stuck in, here's where we're stuck in, here's the barrier. We're stuck in the ways that we've always done things. Uh, and the point is direct mail, email, uh, print, radio, TV, billboards, all of these are what's known as a one directional push marketing method. And those are no longer effective. They actually have all collapsed in the last half decade. Uh, people's habits have changed. Uh, so do you guys remember back in the late 90s, early 2000s, what was king? Email marketing was king. That, that was the way to market because some of these other ways had not been created yet. Uh, people loved email. They, they actually even made a movie about email. Uh, You've got mail. That's kind of a movie. Everyone, actually everyone loved email except real, really for the post office. It's really putting them out of business. Uh, but currently, emails are not even the best way to communicate any longer. There, there's something called texting, everyone knows that. There's these uh, instant messages on the social platforms. Those are much, much better ways to communicate than through email. Currently, people go to their emails, and all they're doing is clicking delete, 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 unsubscribe, spam. That's what they're doing with the emails nowadays. Uh, so people's habits have changed. But here's something important. Each and every one of us, here's what we all have in common. Every single one of us. Doesn't matter how you run your practice. It doesn't matter what technique that you do. It doesn't matter your fee system. What bonds each and every single one of us together is we are all storytellers. Every single one of us is a storyteller. And it is our job to share and tell our story what our value is to society with someone along the path. And that's what connects every single one of us together in this entire profession. And that's something to build on. And to be a good storyteller, you need the attention of the practice member or the patient. Uh, and practice members' eyes and ears, they're, they're in a completely different place than they were just three or four years ago, even two years ago. So we have all these incredible new tools at our disposal right here on the internet. It's a perfect place for us to share our story, our chiropractic story. I was looking at uh, some of the top four uh, platforms, social platforms. Here's which ones they are. In no particular order, we have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. Those are our top four social platforms at the moment. And I'll give you two up and comers in a couple minutes who are probably going to move into those top four uh, very, very quickly, too, very soon. Uh, as I was looking at your Facebook pages, here's what's happening. Your messages, you're pushing them out there. You're, you're treating those social platforms as if they were email marketing. That's not how and why these social platforms were created to begin with. This brings no value to the end user. And here's the important thing. The end user is what we should be focused on. Are we, the messages that we put out there, the posts, are we serving the end user or are we serving ourselves? If your posts are serving yourself, then you want to try to create it in a little bit of a different manner so it will serve the end user. Keep those folks in mind. Now, do you really expect that? When, and we call it a noisy internet world. What I mean by that is here's how people are consuming information on the internet today. They're scrolling through their phone, through their Facebook pages at lightning speeds. Do you really expect somebody to click on your link to take them to your website, to take them to your newsletter, to sign up for your newsletter, and then sell them something? That's not going to happen. That's not how conversion works. We need to be a little bit more creative in how we go about sending and putting out our messages on there. And if we cannot bring value in our posts, in our, our messages, we have no shot at conversion, converting those folks. Now, the dollar is no longer the value, the commodity that we're after. 
Back in the 80s and the 90s, the dollar was king. Here's what we are concerned with now. Here's the commodity that we are all after. Time and attention. We need the person's time and attention uh, to keep them from doing this. We have to break that scrolling pattern somehow. Every event that we throw, this has value. The, the speakers who come before me, the ones who come after me this whole weekend, we're providing value for you guys. And we need to figure out a way to get 10 or 20 seconds of our important points. Uh, we can record on video, but that's what needs to go out on the internet because that is also providing value to those folks as well. And I say 10 to 20 seconds of video because research is showing 30 second videos are no longer effective on Facebook. 30, you have 30 seconds and you're not even clicking on them any longer. So your, your videos need to be short and direct to the point. We need to learn the psychology of why somebody's on Pinterest versus Facebook versus Twitter versus Instagram. The average user on Pinterest, this is going to sound very familiar. The average user on Pinterest is a 24 to 44 year old female. Now doesn't that sound very, very similar to what the average person is in our office? We should own that site. That should be a chart practice site. The average user on Facebook, just about every person in the entire world, with the exception of one demographic, the younger generation. The younger generation, the teens and the young adults, they're moving to a website called Instagram. And they're leaving because they say it's no longer cool because of so much marketing, so much, everybody's trying to sell stuff on there. The number two reason is my parents are on Facebook. But those are reasons why they're moving to Instagram because there's no marketing and there's no pop-up ads. People are not trying to sell them things. And if you haven't realized yet, these social platforms are a two-way conversation. They're no longer a one-directional push. And for the first time in history of marketing, uh, it is no longer that one-direction push method out there. We're having conversations. So you need to create conversations or participate in those conversations that the people are having on those social platforms. So everyone knows this thing that I'm about to say, and I hope you adhere to it, but we must first give before we receive. We need to give first before we can receive. And we must offer free content on the internet. We must answer their questions. It doesn't matter where they're from in the world. If a person's from South America or Australia or California or New Jersey, we need to answer their questions. It doesn't matter that if they're going to come into our office or not. We need to share chiropractic with everybody and anyone who has questions about it. We need to develop some form of a chiro chat network and now, ISCO is stepping up huge with this. We created this ISCO TV program, and it's a way for us to share chiropractic with more people uh, around the world, and it's going to have a, a big impact on 2014. Uh, ISCO is putting their money, their power behind it to help it make it relevant so people that can't get here, maybe they can't afford it, they might be a student at a college, or they might be in a different country, and time to distance is the barrier. Because most of the more effective seminars are still right here in the US. They're not outside the borders as of yet. But so hopefully we're going to make headway and make a change there. We also need to hop on websites like Ustream and Spreecast and Google Hangout and share our story. We need to spend an hour answering chiropractic questions. We need to help the younger generation. I think uh, Boom might have mentioned this. I think I heard him say something about that. But we need to help the younger generation because they're totally lost. Well, not all of them, but many of them are totally lost. What they're getting taught in school is totally foreign than what you or I learned when we went through the program. We need to help promote the people at this event. We need to help promote the board members who put on New Beginnings. We need to help promote New Beginnings itself. Uh, posting on your pages helps with that. It helps to get recognized more. We need to help promote the ones who show up here regularly. We need to help promote the special guests that New Beginnings brings in. Not just utilize them for their equity so they 
fill up the seats, but actually help promote them. We need to be an organization to help teach and help build up personalities that are already here because if we are trying to reach and constantly reach for new people, they may not be 100% congruent with our message. And that's something that we can help build and teach. Here's a very important point, and I do want you guys to pay attention to this one. Every single person in this room and every single event that we host or do is its own media company. You guys are your own media company. I'm going to repeat that. Every single person in this room and every single event that we do is now its own media company. You guys are in charge of your own media. You guys are in charge of your own media that you want your followers to see. And if you do not get this point that I just made, you're going to have a very hard time staying relevant in the next 12 to 24 months. It's just going to be a fact. Now, here's a couple of classic examples of some people not getting it or companies not getting it. Texting while you're driving. Uh, research has shown three out of every four people that are driving are texting or utilizing their cell phone and texting. It's dangerous out there. So companies that spend millions of dollars on billboards, which work on impressions, people are no longer looking at billboards. They're not even watching the damn road anymore. But that's what people are spending their money on, is because they've always done this. Uh, and it's how they've done it for decades now. Uh, and think about in your offices. Are you doing the same things that you've done two, three, five, ten years ago? Is it the same thing, or are you evolving? Are you changing it? People's habits have changed. So we're not looking at those billboards anymore. We're not clicking on those banner ads that we create for the websites. We're not, we're deleting your bulk emails that come out every single week. And we're trashing those vow packs that get sent out in the mailbox. Who here can't wait to leave new beginnings? Go home, open up your mailbox, and go through your direct mail carefully. That, that's not happening. Yeah. We need to be an organization and as individuals also to take these platforms more seriously. And there's, we need to learn more about them and how to storytell on each of them. And there's a main reason why. That's where the people are. And we need to go where the people are. Instagram, I mentioned it before, had 50 million users in a year and a half. 50 million users in a year and a half. Vine is one of those up and coming websites that I told you about that is going to soon get up there. They had 15 million users in 90 days. Facebook can only dream about numbers like that. So that's where the people are. We just need, we're at the beginning of the internet, guys. I'm not sure if you're really understanding this, but internet as we know it is only 21 years old. In 1993, that's when they all spam our real mailboxes and hit us with those disks. But it's only 21 years old. And we're grossly underestimating the power of the internet. And I know we want to shout from the mountaintops and share our story and tell everybody about our story, but that is not effective in today's market. We should be listening first, then thinking, then responding, and then converting. That's how conversion happens. Uh, we need to listen first, then think, then respond, and then convert. People's habits have changed. Trends on the internet are moving towards websites like Snapchat. Some of you might have heard of Snapchat, some of you might not have. All Snapchat is is a communication funnel where you post a picture or a video with text across it that disappears in nine seconds. So you have nine seconds. Why is that valuable? How could that be valuable for us? Well, I mentioned we're scrolling through at lightning speeds and for those nine seconds, somebody's going to get a snap. In Snapchat, you get a snap. Like in Twitter, you get a tweet. On well, Snapchat, you get a snap. And for those nine seconds, a person's going to stop their scrolling pattern because they know it's going to disappear forever, and they're going to focus on that nine seconds. There's the value. That's the value of a website like the Snapchat. Uh, and as this gets older, this is brand new Snapchat, fairly brand new, as it gets older and evolves more, there's going to be opportunity for us. And that's what we want to try to figure out. How can we storytell? How can, can you be creative enough to share a picture or a video with text over that disappears in nine seconds? 
And the other website that's up and coming, I just mentioned, is Vine. Vine is similar to YouTube with one exception. It's a video sharing site, but the videos are only for six to ten seconds. That's it. So are you going to be creative enough to share the chiropractic story on a video for six to ten seconds? People who don't get this are going to struggle. Organizations who don't get this are going to go out of business. And much better business people than us, much larger organizations than ours, and people much more rich than us have been put out of business in the last decade. Uh, and here's a couple of examples, and I'm going to just wrap this up. Amazon. Amazon got it. They were ahead of their time. They figured out a way for, they knew where the consumer was going even before they were. <coughs> Uh, companies like Barnes & Noble, or even a better one is Borders Bookstore. Borders Bookstore said Amazon is just a fad. Nobody's going to put, put their credit card information on the computer. They like coming into our shop. They like looking at the books and walking up to the register and buying them. They're bankrupt, out of business, no longer in existence. Barnes & Noble, very similar. They're bankrupt, but they closed half their stores. And the other half are still not doing as well as it should be. And then the, the last one is uh, Netflix and Redbox. Most, by now, everybody has heard of this. They were ahead of their time, too. They knew where the consumer was going. Blockbuster, not so smart. They said the same thing. Their board members said the same exact thing. Nobody's going to give their credit card information to, for an a overnight delivery service. They like coming into our shops. They like being here. They like putting that, their hands on the box. Well, they are bankrupt out of business, no longer in, in existence. So these companies refuse to play like the year that it actually was. So don't be like those companies. Don't be that person. Don't be that organization. I appreciate each of you. I respect each of you. Thanks for coming out. 2013 was an awesome year for chiropractic. Let's make 2014 even better. Yes. Yes. And let's have an awesome year.